And welcome everyone, thank you very much for joining me today on my latest episode on Transfer Talk. I hope you're having a quality weekend. I've just been chilling. Let me know what you've been doing and getting up to. And on the other video, I'll be... I literally reply to all your messages, just being a bit busy with editing and all that. But I will get... Re I, as always, I reply to every single comment that is Liverpool-based. You obviously, you have seen... The Banks and the Chelsea fans and every other supporters have found their way onto our channel. I don't know what to do at the weekend. I don't sit there and you probably don't sit there and watch and browse through other fellow fans. You must be so bored, it must be ridiculous for them. But yeah, I had everyone, Chelsea fans, Man United fans, that actually figure your way onto a Liverpool fan page. Good on you. Hehehe. <laughs> and today marks the second two two year anniversary from when we signed Bobby Firmino. What, he hasn't been that bad of a signing, has he? So let me know, Are you, were you, what were you thinking when we very first got Bobby Firmino? We're expecting a lot from him. I think, firstly, he's obviously got 21 goals in 66 appearances in the Premier League. So it's not too bad, but as with Firmino, I would like to see him get, especially this season, a lot more goals. Let me know what you'd like to see from Bobby Firmino in this coming season. And shout out on the last video as well. Thank you, thank you very much. You all smashed that like button. As I told you to do, use that all quality. Every single one of you and you have delivered. So if you like that, this one, I, I'm going to set a target. Can you smash that like button and can we get more likes on from the last video? I know you can, but let's see if you can. You are the best subscribers, best viewers on YouTube. Thank you very much. It's Liverpool fans in it, we're all amazing, and boss, especially you. So thank you very much, it is much appreciated. Shout out to Lionel Messi, it's his birthday today. One of my favourite all-time players. So shout out Messi, whatever you're doing. Avoiding tax and all that in Spain. Hey, <laughs> It's not like he's not got enough money. Come on, pay your taxes, lad. But yeah, and just a future insight to my next episodes. I will be doing... A player individual evaluation and you can all get involved. That's what we like to see. So I will be doing from goalkeeper to our forward line. I'll be doing, I get it up on the green screen, the heat, heat maps and all that. And I personally, and what we can gauge from the comments section, we can all discuss on how last season and what we hope for this season, the players individually, step by step. It'd be quite a long, not like a series, but it'd be quite... We daily, so I'll start from caddies and mini lays and goalies and all that, and then up work our way up to the forward line. And this, I'm working, I do like special ones as well, where we do potential maybe signings where they could possibly fit in and maybe benefit from playing in our system and under Jurgen Klopp. So, yeah, subscribe if you want to see that. And for the subscribers, hope you're looking forward to that. I am very much so. Thank you, everyone. And we've got a Pack show, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, Millie's talked about Salah. We've got Millie talking about, about Salah. Mohamed Salah's ex-manager from Egypt, Bob Bradley, talks about how he'd fit into Jurgen Klopp's system. Liverpool and their pursuit in Oxlade-Chamberlain, not a lot, but it's a bit talking about the rules in which Arsenal might be forced by the Premier League to sell in relation to their wage gap and all that stuff. So I'll talk a bit about that. Gamera, Gam, Gremio, <laughs> Gremio are, are the, is it president? Yeah, president has come out and talked a bit about Lucas, a potential move, as always. I'll talk a bit about that. Swansea, I've lodged a cheeky bid, apparently, for our Spanish left back. Yeah, it's more money than what the other clubs have uh, obviously bid for Moreno, but I'll talk about that. And um, Abaloa has retired. I'll talk about that at the back end. But right, let's get stuck into it, everyone. Let's go. Millie has talked to Liverpool Football Club's official website. As always, I'll do half the story and then I'll let you discover it in the links below. So it's a quality interview. I've only read a bit of it, so I'll read what I can and definitely check that out. It's You'll find it in the description. It fit in really well. And without the ball, he's very dangerous with it caught. And he causes a lot of problems. And without it, that is so important and to the way we play. Obviously, you haven't seen Salah. His tracking back is amazing. So I think, and he talks about, I'll talk about it in a sec, but one of the aspects of Klopp signing Salah from what, or, what I've seen of him. And let me know if you've seen him play for Roma. He does like to 
Jürgen press, uh, or however you say, the pressing style of Jürgen, as we've all seen, and the way we all play, is we press on the front, and then the midfield, and then the defence all press as a team. So I think with that, we'll see a lot more a lot more fluidity in the pressing side of the game for Liverpool. It'd be very much emphasised in... Firmino does a lot of pressing, Coutinho, but Salah's rapid pace with Mane, the speed over the first five to ten yards, and that press will be absolutely fantastic. Millie goes on to say, looking at his stats, the things that... And that, this is the line that I was on talking about before. So, yeah, looking at his stats and things like that, he has had a good season. He is a dangerous player and... Someone who is going to do really well for us, and for sure. Liverpool is a top club you're, with a good squad of players, and you're going to attract top players. That's what you want. The best players in and around the squad to push each other, he added. The bigger squad, the squad of top players you have, the more successful you're going to be. The competition for places is exactly what you need all over the field. You can't be any more right there. Like competition, as we've all talked about, how, for you, where would you see, do you want the most competition? Would you want it up the other end of the field, the top end, or would you rather see the competition, as I've discussed in the comment section we've all used, we've all talked a bit about the, in previous videos and all of them, we've talked about, there is a lot of yous, and me personally as well, we want to see an improvement, it's alright, improvement, unless... We have a basketball with most teams and outscore them every game. That will be an exciting prospect next season, but we don't want that. We'll all end up with heart attacks, and we do not want to have that next season, winning every game for free. It'd be fun to watch for the neutral, but not for us. We'll have heart attacks all day long, every day of the week. But yeah, Millie talks about the, the pressing style and the big the big quality players that come into this team are a must for Jürgen Klopp and the fans. So... Check that interview out. That is very good. Bob Bradley managed them at Egypt. Bob Bradley told the Telegraph, this is quoted in the Echo, with a 4-3-3 system, Klopp likes to sell. Uh, Klopp likes Salah is a great fit for a player like Salah. It's easy to fit into Jürgen's system. He can play from outside in and set up chances, or he can play as a striker or a false nine. Obviously, Bobby plays as a false nine as well, which is very handy. He is fast and gets behind the defence, obviously, Bob. Makes good runs and the dynamicness of him makes him even more of a threat. No defender is happy coming up against him. Doubt we would in a foot race. When you have this kind of pace, speed, it creates chances and lots for him and for his other teammates. So yeah, Bob's, he's one of the main play managers in world football that he's actually seen, Salah. He's, he's trained under Bob when he was at Egypt. That is... It's the chances in which pace in general. We've seen it with Mane and other players, like Ibe as well. Not really Ibe, but fast players. They very much create their own chances, really, don't they? Like, if you've got the ball, they can literally just knock it past a man and, like, literally go, meow, and then chase chase the ball. But it's very much exciting prospect. Bob Rally, nice one, lad. But, yeah, Liverpool. This is where I was talking about. This is the Oxlade Chamberlain. Is an important update from the independent for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because reported that Arsenal may not be happy to sell Alex, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain with Liverpool interested. And secondly, because they say that Arsenal are keen to cut their wage bill due to Premier League rules which come into place next season. That's where I was going to talk about. It is reported the Premier League has new control measures. Oh, control measures. Well, Beta won't apply for Chelsea and. City, as always, the rules. They always find a way around it. The Premier League coming into force this summer, which is shaping Arsenal's thinking. The rules say that the club's wage bill should not be more than £7 million, more than it was in 2016-17 to 17 season, or £19 million more than from 12-13 to 13 season. If it does increase beyond this limit, the money can only come from external sources such as player sales, Ticketing commercial money rather than Premier League central funds. Obviously, if you haven't checked out Arsenal's wage bill, as we wouldn't because we're level Liverpool fans and we're not, not really bothered. But I've seen, I read more into that. Arsenal's wage bill is above the level that the actual ruling is going to come into play. So obviously, they can only generate the money back from sales. And Alex is one of their most highest, like, 
priority players that they could sell and get money back. So I, me personally, as I've said on countless episodes, I really want Alex Oxley chamberlain He's another option, but he's a quality option to have. If fall into the England selection, you've got to have English players into the squad with the selection in the Premier League rules and Champions League rules. But for me, he is one of my... Every time I see him for England play, he's always one of the standout players alongside our very own Adam Lallana. Uh, him, those two specifically, when they play, they are not head and, head and shoulders above the rest, but they are very much standout players for the England national team. And when Alex does play in the Premier League for Arsenal, you'd always watch him. So let me know what you think about Alex. Would you like to see him, as I've said in a couple of episodes, but you want to get his all involved? Would you use... A yay or a nay on Alex? Would you like to see him at Liverpool Football Club? And give the price in below. Say yes or no. And give the price that you would like. You'd pay. It, so see. Uh, and then next episode I'll see. what I'll average it out and see. What everyone was thinking of paying overall. Gremio targets. The president come out of. The vice president of Gremio come out. Uh, Roman. <laughs> Alright Roman lad. Recently addressed the situation and said. Lucas is a great player. It would be an impact signing if there is a possibility in the financial conditions of Gremio. Obviously, Brazilian outfit, they're not really loaded with cash. But if he's one of their heroes, really. Not heroes, but he's one of their boyhood players coming from that academy. So they'd love to see him come back. It's just Lucas being on, I think he's on about 80 grand a week. So it'd be very hard for them. But he goes into further detail. They're interested. At this time, there's no negotiation. No, no negotiations. I talked with him a few days ago, and at the moment, we we make contact, but there isn't anything concrete. He's also seeing the interest of other clubs. There is, yes, possibility of him coming. There is currently nothing in progress at the minute. That is very, very interesting, especially with him addressing them. Me personally, I did be nothing better to see him go back to Gremio. I don't know how I'd feel if he went to another Premier League team. So let me know. How would you feel if Lucas actually played in the Premier League team? He's obviously been linked in the past couple of weeks with Rafa Benitez. Obviously being in Newcastle and then bringing him in uh, when he was in his time at Liverpool. Rafa brought him in. So let me know. How would you feel? Very much interesting. So leave that in the comment section. Right. Swansea, the cheeky, cheeky Welshman, have offered... £12 million pounds for our amazing Spanish left-back. <laughs> no, he, he's he's not too bad, man, you know. He's better left-back than me and all of us, so we can't give him that bad of a stick. But yet, yeah, lads, apparently Swansea have tabled a £12 million bid. Liverpool have yet to come out and formally reject or accept. They are monitoring the situation, as reported in Rousing of the Cop. I'll leave the rest of the interview down there. But that was only a quiz brief one. As the, on the last one when we talk about Moreno, 15 million is the price tag we are looking at get accepting. But with Swansea being a Premier League outfit, they probably offer 12 million and the other 3 million will be add on in add ons and if they stay in the Premier League. So that's where you get round to the extra funding. Next story and final one are below it the X Red. I really loved him when he played for the Liverpool. He only played at Anfield for three years, but. Alvaro Abaloa, ex-Liverpool and Real Madrid and West Ham. That was mad when he went to West Ham and now to his retirement. The former Liverpool and Real Madrid man has revealed he is retiring from football. In an interview with Mark, he said, It's time to say goodbye. Physically, I was okay to keep on playing. Where's the other rest? But mentally, I could not carry on. Madrid, and he talks about with the club he'd like to go to and pack up his pack up his bags and play is obviously his beloved Madrid. Madrid is the club of my life, he added. I would never call to ask for the job, but I'm always available to offer myself. So let me know, did, did you watch Arbeloa play? I really loved him. He was not the best right back, personally, but I loved him because he could actually defend. Like He wasn't a world-class defensive right back, but he was... In a time where we'd have marauding right-backs, he was very much a very solid uh, solid right-back. So let me know f what you think about Arbeloa and his sadly retirement. But thank you, everyone. That wraps up today. It was only a short one. But thank you very much, everyone. Hope you're having a quality weekend. And I'll be getting on those shows that I mentioned before. So check them out. 
hit subscribe, keep up to date with all the Liverpool latest news and updates, and hopefully we'll have some more transfer news to come in tomorrow, and hopefully we sign Messi or Ronaldo, nah, only messing, but yeah, thank you very much everyone, have a good weekend, and I'll speak to you very soon, you never walk alone, hit that subscribe button, like that vid like the video, it'd be very much appreciated, see if we can smash that record, go ahead, I'll see you soon, all the best everyone, Ciao.